morning, welcome back to In Due Season. I'm Heather, and today we're diving into a topic that's crucial for anyone navigating the job market, interview tips. Whether you're a recent graduate, a seasoned professional, or somewhere in between, interviews can always be nerve wracking. But fear not, we're going to cover some essential tips to help you ace your next interview. Let's get started. Tip number one, research, research, research. Before you interview, take the time to learn about the company and the role you're applying for. Visit the website, read up on their mission statement, and familiarize yourself with recent news or projects. Do this for two reasons. First, do this for your own benefit. Make sure that the company's values and culture match what you're looking for in an employer. And secondly, employers like to feel as if they are hiring someone willing to put in the effort required to do a job well make sure to casually mention your research during the interview. For example, you can say something along the lines of, I read online that XYZ company matched $150,000 in donations last year. Working for a company focused on giving back to the community is important to me. I have a youth organization that I enjoy giving back to each year. Is this donation match offered to all employees? A question like that one works really well if it's a business that is highly focused on giving back, but there are all kinds of things that you can find out about a company that also matches what you're looking for in an employer, and you should just cater that research and the application of the comment into your interview where applicable. Tip number two, practice makes perfect. Don't underestimate the power of practicing your interview answers. Grab a friend, family member, a mirror or a computer with a camera and rehearse common interview questions. I highly suggest recording yourself during this practice. Uh, pay attention to your body language, tone of voice, and confidence level. The more you practice, the more comfortable and prepared you'll feel on the big day. Tip number three is to pray. Just as with all events in our life, we should be turning to the Lord in prayer throughout the entire job search process. My suggestion is to start praying before you even submit that first application. But if you didn't do that, it's never too late to start. Before you go to the interview, you should pray for wisdom and guidance to continue through your job search. There was once an interview that I thought I was a shoe in to get. On paper, I matched exactly what they were looking for. All my work experiences matched the skills they were seeking. You know, I did not even get an interview. When I made a follow-up call to HR, she also was shocked that I didn't get an interview based on my resume. I later prayed and asked God, why didn't I at least get an interview? And I heard the words, because you would have taken it. It made me realize that I was not seeking God's guidance through my job search. I don't know why God didn't want me to take that job, but I know I wasn't being obedient since I wasn't even concerned enough about God's thoughts to even ask. I'm not saying you'll always receive such an obvious answer to your prayers, but we should always be seeking God's guidance in all areas of our lives. Tip number four, bring a folder. During your interview, bring a professional looking folder or a briefcase. In your folder, you'll want to keep a copy of your resume and cover letter. You never know what could happen while you're in the interview. I have heard of instances where the interview spilled coffee on someone's resume and had nothing to reference during the interview. If you have another copy of your resume with you, you not only keep the interview on track, you also look very prepared. Even though so much of our job applications are submitted electronically, there is also a possibility you may need to fill out some paperwork upon arrival for the interview. This resume can also help you if you have to fill out your paperwork quickly uh, and the folder can serve as a hard surface to write on. I would also recommend carrying a pen on the day of your interview as well. Tip number five, showcase your skills and experiences. During the interview, be sure to highlight your relevant skills, experiences, and achievements. Use specific examples to demonstrate how you've successfully tackled challenges or contributed to previous projects. If you don't have a lot of real work experience yet, keep in mind it doesn't have to be a project you were paid for. And in fact, 
It doesn't even really have to be work related, but it should be relatable to work. Here is a story I would tell during my interviews early on in my career. When I was young, my family would go camping every summer. There was one trip in particular that my sister and I had decided we were finally old enough to start packing our own bags and didn't want our mom to help us. My mom was a brave woman because she not only agreed, she didn't even check our bags. My sister didn't end up packing any socks. So my mom said that I needed to share my socks with her while we were on the trip. Well, I didn't see why I should be put out, so I gave her my dirty socks, which of course didn't go over well. The lessons I learned from this story are to not only be prepared for myself, but now I tend to be prepared for other people, just in case their errors affect me. A couple quick notes about sharing an experience like this. Always make sure your stories are short and to the point. Notice I didn't elaborate on parts of the story that weren't necessary. It's also important that there is a point to your story. Notice that even though my story wasn't work-related, I shared the lessons I learned that apply to how I would behave in their work atmosphere. Another thing to be aware of here is that this type of story works for my personality. I enjoy talking, my family, and laughing. The interviewer is able to see that during this story. They get a little glimpse of me. Obviously, now that I'm older and have more work experience, I have more professional stories that work here. However, I tend to follow the same type of guides when sharing a story that would demonstrate my skills. They should always relate back to the question being asked and how I would be as an employee at this company. Remember, your resume got you through the door, but your interview is your chance to really shine and prove that you're the best fit for this position, a workplace atmosphere, community that they have built, and a story about a real life experience is one of the best ways to do that. Tip number six, ask thoughtful questions. Towards the end of the interview, you'll likely be given the opportunity to ask questions. You should definitely be asking questions here. Make sure to write these questions down ahead of time. If you're anything like me, you'll forget what your questions are if you don't have them written down. If you brought a folder, write your questions on a small piece of paper and tuck it in the folder. Ask about company culture, opportunities for growth, specific projects you'll be working on, or what does the day-to-day -day look like for this position? Not only does this demonstrate your enthusiasm, but it also helps you gather valuable information to determine if the company is the right fit for you. Tip number seven, be yourself. You may have noticed a common theme throughout the previous tips. Be who God created you to be. Remember, the interviewer is not only evaluating your skills and experiences, but also assessing your personality and cultural fit. So relax, be authentic, and let your personality shine through. Confidence, enthusiasm, and a positive attitude go a long way in making a lasting impression. Finally, a bonus tip for after your, your interview. Make sure you are following up after your interview. I always recommend sending your interviewer a thank you note for taking the time to interview you. This can be an email that you send or even a handwritten thank you note. However, if you go that route, I would write it immediately in your car and drop it in the mail before you even return home. In addition to your thank you note, you should follow up with a phone call a week to 10 days after your interview. This will help keep you informed of when to expect further communication, but it will also keep your name fresh in your interviewer's mind. Here there you have it, seven plus essential interview tips to help you land your dream job. Remember to do your research, practice, pray always, bring a folder, showcase your skills, ask questions, and be yourself. Don't forget to follow up too. Best of luck on your next interview. God bless you in your job search and see you soon.